First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Well, I think we may have found out why some of the uh, the lights here at the station and everything have been going a little bit quirky this morning. If when you were just joining us at the top of the show, it appears a transformer on Dishman Lane, not too far from us, uh, was arcing and sparking. Uh, we had someone send us some video of that just a few minutes ago. So apparently that's why things are a little bit uh, crazy around the station this morning. And it's all from that first wave of activity coming through the rain, the thunderstorms, the lightning. We could expect more of that as we go through the day. Here's a look at First Alert Live Doppler Radar. And we're seeing lots of lightning strikes with some uh, pretty decent downpours this morning. So use caution. If you're driving into work or your destination this morning, as the rain is going to be with us uh, <clears throat> in waves as we go through the day, this is only the first wave of activity. We've got another wave that's going to come through a little bit later. If we could go back to radar for just a second, what I want to show is uh, after the rains come through, we have the threat of severe weather. Could we go back to... Uh, radar for just a second. Let me there we go. And I want to show you this the uh, severe weather threat mainly this afternoon this evening not really expecting severe weather this morning. This is going to happen with the uh, actual cold front trying to push through later this afternoon and this evening does include the entire WBKO viewing area pretty much all up and down I 65 the threat of damaging winds large hail from any thunderstorms. Tornado threat is relatively low, but as we've said before, we can't completely say it's not going to happen. There could be a couple of isolated or very remote tornadoes out of this particular system. All right, we have had uh, some pretty decent rainfall as you got a preview of that. Here is the uh, mesonet precipitation this morning. Almost four tenths of an inch of rain in Madisonville, a quarter inch in Hopkinsville. Now we're over three tenths of an inch of rain here in Bowling Green, three tenths in Glasgow. Look at Edmonton, almost an inch of rain, and that's happened within one hour there in Metcalf County. That's pretty impressive. Half inch of rain over in Campbellsville, a third of an inch up in Munfordville, and there's yet more to come. We could find some very heavy rainfall on the order of one to two inches or more by the time all this is done sometime about midday tomorrow. Now temperatures are starting out in the mid and upper 50s to the west and northwest of us, but here from Bowling Green East, temperatures are mainly in the 60s in a very humid air mass this morning, a very soupy air mass as well. As we look live from Doppler Cam, there's the hill at Western. Low visibility with the heavy rainfall that's coming down, occasional flashes of lightning, and as mentioned, there could be some power outages thanks to uh, some transformers that are blowing or the tree limbs hitting a power line. Uh, watch for the caution lights this morning, uh, some flashing red because of uh, power outages at some intersections, so just be careful. 63 degrees currently, northwest wind at 5, 99% humidity. Greenville, you've had your share of rain and thunderstorms this morning. You've picked up three hundredths of an inch of rain officially at the Mesonet site, but you probably have received a lot more than that. Greenville, you're at 57 degrees. Here's Munfordville, the rain coming down. You're at a third of an inch of rain, and it's still falling up in Hart County. Your temperature is at 65. And in Litchfield, starting to get some shower activity there, although you've been fairly dry up until this point. You're at 60 degrees. And look at the rain falling at Mammoth Cave National. Park, you're at 65 degrees. As we check the air quality, the good news about the rain, which we need, by the way, it's also bringing down the pollen count into the low category, something we haven't seen much at all this week. Ozone good, molds, molds are low, UV index will be moderate today with the clouds and the showers. Rough River Lake, that is our hometown forecast for today. Hardensburg 74, E Town 73, Litchfield, you'll see a high of 75. Five today, and by the way, the Kentucky Lottery Powerball jackpot for tonight estimated ninety million dollars. Mega Millions estimated to be at one hundred thirty-six million dollars. Radar showing only the first wave coming through. Heavier rain and thunderstorms still yet to come through. All depends on what happens between this morning's rain and what happens this afternoon as to whether we get the severe weather. We're at sixty-three now. That's seven degrees cooler than at this hour just yesterday. So it all depends on this area of low pressure and if we get any sun between the morning rain and the afternoon showers and thunderstorms. But even then we're not done.
sun, there's another wave coming through tomorrow morning before all this begins to push away. Numerous showers and thunderstorms today, 75. Showers and storms tonight, 51. Tomorrow, much cooler and for the next few days, only trending into the 60s. 64 tomorrow, 65 Friday, 66 Saturday with only a slight chance of a shower there. And then it looks like we'll finally warm back into the 70s for the beginning of next week.